Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street. We have an energy web token update today. That is EWT on the exchange. Before we go into the chart, I want to talk a bit more about EWT. You know, I love this project. I love the element of blockchain and energy combined. Um, and I'm not talking about energy efficiency of blockchain. I'm talking about where the energy sector is going guys we talk about a lot in the previous videos if you're new to the channel or you're new to ewt or you're new to this kind of video bear with me i'm going to always give like a top line information structure to this because uh, i'm very passionate about it i understand where the energy sector is going uh, you see a lot of narrative out there about fuel crises and all of these crazy things and the big climate push uh, all of this stuff and being investing in this area has made me wake up to so many things that a lot of the stuff on our media is absolute garbage and it is paving the way for things like this. So Energy Web, uh, very much a, a prominent uh, blockchain technology, ironically, I believe, older than Ethereum. Okay, so it's been around for some time. And we'll go into price points and, and stuff in, in the chart, of course, a bit later. But these guys work essentially around the tokenomics um, as well as platforms uh, in terms of ledger systems and the application of transferring energy into tokens, but very much around the tokenomics of converting uh, what we deem as renewable energy predominantly and the likes of electric cars into a tokenized society that will eventually give power more so to people than it will the utility companies that we know and don't love today. So guys, um, first of all, um, top line uh, infrastructure of this. So um, we'll come back on to this point in a minute. This is about the London upgrade with Ethereum. So this project here, Blocks Move, is a project that we've mentioned in a video recently. Absolutely love it. I think it's phenomenal. Um, and I've just grabbed a load this week. But the point of this, so we talk a lot on this channel about IoT and AI and fuel, energy, all these kind of things in blockchain, right? Uh, mobility, transportation. Uh, we've been through loads of different mechanisms, like the fact that eventually the IoT algorithm on blockchain will be that if you have a meeting, everything will be booked for you, all on automated schedule. So like it will book your flight, it will book your hotel, your transport, your taxi, it will order stuff for you that you need for your journey based on your behavioral data of what you used to buy for holidays or, or meetings and this, that, and other. So you've got that aspect. Then you've got the agricultural IoT aspect of drones harvesting, seeding automatically based on supply and demand mechanisms, seasonal activity, uh, you know, the nutrition in the soil, all of these analysis aspects that we are teaching machine right now. Um, and there's loads of other, loads and loads of other ones. Uh, but one of the key ones for me is energy. Uh, now, Blocks Move is working on loads of different things to bring together, essentially, uh, a multitude of different aspects of IoT and AI, right? So as we mentioned, like you can download the Blocks Move app, for example, and utilize and transact everything within one transaction rather than five or six several ones. So you're on the go, everything's done for you, right? Now, similarly with energy, so these guys have got a massive partnership um, with Energy Web Foundation who are essentially cons consulting and integrating systems within like this kind of uh, project um, from the aspect of uh, renewable energy, EV cars, of course, a big narrative right now because of the, the in quoted commas, the fuel crisis uh, to essentially generate more and more people to uh, enter the EV market. Now I'm going to make a point here, and this comes from the horse's mouth because I know a lot of people over there in China uh, through work and everything. They were telling me that in China, um, there's something like in most provinces, there's an up to, if not two year waiting list for a new petrol car. They are trying to encourage people to go to EV. Uh, they offer, most provinces offer their citizens up to two years of free charging for their EV and they also supply uh, a mechanism of funding a um, major funding to manufacturers of EV cars uh, to to encourage more production faster production of them so 
Yeah, of course, some people complain about the energy consumption and CO2 emissions created for batteries for cars, but we've got to start somewhere, right? Anyway, my point being is that there's loads of narratives out there in, in the media that concentrate on things saying, oh, China's this, China's that. Well, actually, they're way more advanced than we are here in the UK. We're, we're messing about with heat pumps, for God's sakes. You think that's going to be sustainable? What are we doing? It's all about contracts and money in this country, I tell you. The, the political government nonsense in the background. But back to my point, um, you know, there's infrastructures here in place um, for the future. And when we talk about EV cars, um, eventually using blockchain and tokenomics and speed of transactions and, you know, essentially contactless fruition of payments going through a network that you can't see, it's going to be everywhere. Um, you could be driving past someone's house or uh, past another car and you can swap transactional information of energy data and the transactional element of paying or selling or buying that that asset of energy you remember like the carbon stocks back in the day this is kind of replacing it in more of a autonomous crazy world that we're entering so as it's mentioned here Rolling batteries that can participate in grid balancing, distributed ledger technology supports the management of life cycle and residual values. What this means uh, here, the rolling batteries participate in grid balancing, means that if you have surplus energy, you have the ability to sell that surplus energy into something else or to someone else and get rewarded or i.e. paid for that mechanism. Now, at the moment, centralized system, you have your energy coming from a specific company right but now they're all saying like oh we're using renewable energies now but they'll still charge you the same amount uh even though it's like coming from free and don't get me wrong i understand the national grid there's elements of processing and getting that energy to you still but you do ask the question hang on a minute how many years is going to go by before we actually see reductions in our bills because we're using free stuff in the world right so more and more people and we're going to go into this topic in a minute on the ewt side trust me just just bear with me um, but we're going into this element of of tokenomics of energy to the point where you as a consumer or what they call them prosumers have the ability and the power through uh, the element of verification and, and digital identity to take that surplus energy, put it back onto the grid and get rewarded for it. Um, it's not like that kind of government nonsense scheme where they try and get you to put loads of solar panels on your thing and you get put back in the national grid. This is something that gives you uh, you more power and other people within your own circles of community or your your own personal grid if you like more um, control mechanism there so give, giving you the ability to save on bills and be in control more on your bills and your energy so this is a really interesting aspect to this um, and it's kind of hard to get your head around it but these kind of like blocks move applications bringing all this kind of smart grid aspect together Going on to the point of EWT here with DID, so DID, digital identities, um, and the energy web token working in large. Now, I'm not gonna go through this whole entire thing because some of it is absolutely crazy. I would just recommend, and I'll put a link in the description, uh, how large is the market for energy web DIDs? So I'll, I'll leave this link um, in, the com um, in the comments in the description. It's really interesting, guys. So it's very much around this aspect of decentralized, and decentralized identifiers, okay, so it's like, um, basically uh, the contract aspect of non-tangible assets so uh, where we've got things like I mentioned with electric vehicles and smart meters um, you have the ability to obtain that data to own that data and decide what you want to do with that data so I'm not talking about just data as you as a name I'm talking about data and and essentially the element of the thing that you'd buy and sell you have the ability to decide what to do with that okay so we're going into this decentralized network away from the centralized systems that we mentioned earlier, you know, your typical smart grid, uh, energy grids that we have right now, and moving into a decentralized systems. So self-sovereign identity, um, and they talk a lot about the um, other er areas here in terms of the coding aspects and like relevant information as to what this is kind of um, pairing it to in other scenarios. But this DSLA, uh, aspect decentralized service level assurance 
So with this solution, users will be able to subscribe to professional grade services delivered by specialized service providers. So this is taking, like I mentioned, with you having more power to yourselves. But DIDs in the energy sector are really interesting. So we've now phased into this point uh, where it mentions here that um, we are essentially transitioning right now. So this is happening because of the groundbreaking transformation in energy industry. Customer spend on clean energy is on track to eclipse utility spending on all energy. The people are taking back power off these utility companies that have been burning people left, right and centre. All the poor people in the world they keep taking advantage of in the winter and everything. We finally are getting an opportunity to take control back. Yes, there are companies involved like Shell and EDF into the likes of Energy Web, but there's a reason for that because we need that infrastructure in place first of all. They need things like EWT for the efficiencies, the cost of um, efficiency and all these kind of things. But equally on the other hand, the clever people out there, as it says here, customers are investing in clean energy assets. These assets are the future of the energy sector, battery storage, smart AC, um, electric cars, charging stations, solar systems, the list goes on. Well, if you are clever enough, you can buy yourself a bunch of solar panels, a nice battery storage unit and a smart AC system in your home and get all the transformers and the converters together and operate your own system. Then if you link that with a web 3.0 system into blockchain, you essentially have the ability to become a prosumer and sell your surplus energy that you're getting from solar panels to other people in your community or to other people that you know across the other side of the world. You can sell your tokenomics to anyone and everyone that you want to. Not be dictated to by price of supply and demand, but actually the algorithm of what is a fair price based on blockchain algorithm of that particular time um, and doing it that way. Not through an arguably corrupt system or fraudulent system, in my opinion, uh, of existing energy company systems taking advantage of many people around the world for too long. That's why I'm passionate about Energy Web, I'm passionate about the energy and I'm passionate about blockchain because finally the people can have a bit more say in this and a bit more control. So long may it continue. There's loads of other technical aspects here about the digital infrastructure. So here mentioning about identity and permissions, relationship between assets, customers and market participants. So this is where the mechanism of EWT comes in in the middle with the DID infrastructure. Uh, to ensure that all transactions are quick, efficient, tested, verified, all these things to make it safe for everyone. Uh, mentioning again more about the EV chargers, smart meters and th th thermostats. Um, the Flex Alert program is absolutely massive um, with uh, Energy Web token as well. We did a video on that recently, go check that one out. Um, but here's some stats. So we estimate by 25 there will be between 200 million, that's a bit of a random mix of numbers there 200 million and 1.2 billion um, decentralized identification uh, elements using the energy web token stack so this is quite amazing so you can imagine all the things on this smart grid being powered by energy web and the utilization of other blockchain technologies technologies of course as well um, but all these different systems you've got the H hvac which is like um what is it what do they call them it's kind of like the air systems in houses and, and commercial buildings now. That is actually one of the fastest, um, or going to be one of the fastest growing industries in the next few years when it comes to smart and air air monitoring systems and things like that. Um, so loads of different things commercially and domestically as well uh, to take that to another level. Number of devices to grow from 2.2 billion in 2022 to 3.8 billion in 2030. And there's a lot of a statistic here that we do cover quite a bit in other things like IoTX and the IoTA, uh, major IoT and AA, AI sorry, projects. So 2022, we're expecting to issue a total of around 728,000 DID for devices and people. We believe reaching close to 1 million DIDs in 22 is feasible based on the current pipeline. Absolutely phenomenal. Loads of tests going on in Australia and California, you know, millions and millions of people. But nice, nice uh, graphics here in terms of um, sort of showing you really the market share in terms of where they think that it can get to in the future um, and how many people versus the percentage that it can obtain through that. Um, and, you know, guys, like I said, go and check this out. There's loads of interesting information um, and a good breakdown of the different 
um, what we call it like elements of energy um, and here the go goal of issuing 200 million or more DIDs is very ambitious but doable by 2030 and then finally here the IoT spectrum so the energy sector devices are just a subset of the broader market of connected IoT devices which we cover all the time and just mentioned total number of connected IoT devices is expected to reach 27 billion by 2025 now this goes back to this whole aspect of things like blocks move where you are putting everything and everything you can possibly think of in an iot ai system that does anything and everything for you the, we are as i've mentioned in these iot videos in a human to machine learning mechanism right now eventually the machines will learn so much they don't need us to input anymore and it will become machine to machine operated and this is where the automation begins you will just simply be using a mechanism within blockchain of trust like kyc and smart contracts to have the trust mechanism done for you i.e it will go mm, yeah simon we know that you like to take a walk at this time of the day and you know you need to do this or that or um, we're going to order this for you so it's there for when you get back by a drone or um, you've booked a holiday we know that you like this particular flight or this particular hotel or these kind of hotels and it'll just do everything for you based on your algorithm of data these things in your hands guys or even the things you walk around with these smartphones have been obtaining your data for as long as you've had them um, whether you like it or not and you've not had the ability to decide what happens with that data they just buy it they sell it to other companies and that's why you get all the crappy adverts on your phone and you're thinking hang on I was talking about that this morning why has it popped up on my phone think about it you have been given a giving these companies or given the the aspect of smart and AI the algorithms and behavioral patterns of yourself a digital footprint for probably the last 10 12 years whether it be through social media through the smartphone usage uh, or your behavioral patterns online they're learning the machines are learning and this is not theory it's fact so in time um you know it's not a bad thing i'm not saying this is like a conspiracy theory or something it's it, it's it's the element of what's going to be happening this is how machine when I say machine, I'm not talking about like, well, there will be robots. I'm not talking about machines like extermination and stuff. I'm talking about machine as in everything IoT related, right? And when we talk about automated flying and machines of cars and automated cars, this is what I'm talking about. They've learned off us. We've been teaching them for a long time now. You have been teaching them a long time. We're all in, we're all responsible for this madness. So... This is why I'm loving the energy sector because it's giving more power to back to the people. We're able to get more control and we are going into a completely new world of tokenomics. Anything and everything will be tokenomics. Walking, running, um, being rewarded, play to earn, play activity, earn to run or run to earn, sorry. Um, and then the aspect of tokenomics and everything else as well, social scoring. The ability of energy tokenization monetary tokenization the world is changing guys and that's why i'm invested in this space because it's coming and if you don't like the idea of that go and invest and get out of the system before it starts that's my plan so guys hopefully that's been interesting for you let's jump into the chart smash the like button if you like what you hear or see and let's take a look at the price movements of ewt recently so we've had the uptake um of, of ewt in the last 24 hours we had a bit of a drop yesterday which was across the most of the market because that evergrand nonsense it didn't do the impact i think the elites thought it would do here we are all holding strong clearly and this is great not just for ewt for other assets as well the strength that i'm seeing in all the charts is showing no um drop or shaking of hands like we used to we're in with the big guns now guys because all the shakeouts have occurred over the last few months we're ready for takeoff in my opinion on a multitude of projects to parabolic heights in the next coming months that is my thought process around that so guys let's look at the macro level we touched down yesterday towards this nine dollar mark we floated back up we're currently trading at 10.2 dollars people say to me is is it a good time to get into EWT? I think any time's good for EWT. Of course, if you're able to, like I did on the 21st July, and take advantage of these lower marks around seven dollars, 
or four and a half dollars so absolutely phenomenal i did bag quite a lot around this region and i'm still buying ewt at these prices because i know where the future is going i'm not really majorly fussed about the run uh, for ewt in my bag um i'm waiting maybe a bit more as well in the bear market to accumulate more but i'm buying ewt as much as i can whenever i can because um, as many of the things are just outlaid in this video but the way the industry is going energy is going follow the narratives follow the money all these news stories are absolute garbage it's the transition of electronic aspects ai biometric passports all of this stuff is coming together guys please awaken yourselves and realize what's going on and then when you start investing in these projects and you research these projects you sit there and go oh i get it now just like I did a couple of years ago when I started understanding crypto, it wasn't an investment thing for me. It was understanding what the hell is blockchain and what on earth is going on in my world right now. Why is it going so mad? And all of a sudden I learned about blockchain. I did my diploma and all of a sudden it clicked. And now I'm investing heavily in things that I know for a fact will be coming very soon, whether you like it or not. And this is one of them. Um, so we're tailing back up here guys to this $10.2 mark right now as we're floating can we get a close over the 10.2 mark hopefully we can because I think that will get great structure over the next two three days for us to push EWT up to higher numbers we haven't seen the $13 mark here since the 14th of October and we haven't seen the real previous highs that we saw here at $16 which was around the 22nd of August and our previous all-time high was way back here uh, I think in April, uh, April the 17th, at a high of $23.53. Guys, what do you think my price prediction is going to be for, not necessarily this year, but the bull run coming? I generally believe that EWT could get to a, around that sort of $80 mark. I'm being, being realistic here. I think it can do it. I mean, that's not a massive move from this current point because uh, we're already kind of floating around at $10 already. So I think you could get good returns on this. In the short term but imagine the long term when all this really properly kicks off worldwide uh, with energizing tokenomics aspect that's what i'm waiting for guys that's what i'm in this this uh, particular token for and power as well pwr if you're looking for something that's on the cheaper price side or uh, it's quite a similar project they've already got loads of testing going on right now and trials especially in australia Again, follow narrative, look what's going on in Australia and all the things that they're transitioning right now and energy will be one of them. So that's just a little um, under the radar comment I just made there in case you didn't realize. But yeah, POWR is another one that's of great interest. And if you want to accumulate a bigger pot like EWT used to be like maybe a couple of years ago, it is a great alternative to that. We will cover power over the weekend as well because they've got a few updates that I want to cover Um absolutely phenomenal but EWT that's what I think will be occurring in these coming months $80 is my price prediction let us know what yours is in the comments below are you holding EWT what price point did you get in let us know um, the other alternative to this guys if we don't close around that area and we drop back down I do potentially see us coming back to the 966 and probably bouncing off around that area kind of similar to the close off points that we saw around the 7th 8th and 9th of November around this 980 mark but I think what's clear for me right now is trying to stabilize ourselves above $10. If we can do that, we can start a mechanism pushing this back up where it belongs. And we can confirm most of that really in the MACD here. So the MACD has really narrowed recently, exception of the drop yesterday, of course. But I feel like we're a few days, maybe two, three days max uh, of switching this into really nice moves getting that rsi floating more and upwards as well so we had the big tail down yesterday at 40 that's really respectable 50 is now at back at the limbo mode i like to call it but i think we can do some significant pushes for ewt in the coming weeks and leading into december especially um and i think as as the narratives of fuel crisis and stuff like this continue and the climate change and cop 26 the more people that talk about the infrastructure of blockchain and, and there will be conversations about that, I promise you, in the times to come, people will start going, mm, how's this work? And then all of a sudden the price flies and these prices that we see today will not be existing anymore. They will be long gone. 
uh, year to date 65 percent up so it's not huge numbers guys but i think the project's adoption is very early and this is what i love about it irrespective of the price you might think oh it's an early why is it not like two dollars three dollars because i can tell you now there is gigantic amounts of volume in terms of monetary value going into this on a daily basis and i have no doubt in my mind the likes of Elon musk will probably invest in this because they don't just make electric cars for the sake of it and to make money off us to buy them they know exactly what's coming they know the future they know what smart grid and 5g and iot ai are about they know what's happening with energy follow the money guys we're going to wrap the ewt video up there like i said let us know your price predictions in the comments below when you got into ewt price point wise and we'll look forward to bringing some of those to action in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this we'll see you in the next video i need water